Welcome back, everybody, to Total Nonstop Impact, Impact Talk for Impact fans, featured right here on the TNI Network. This is Trent, all my co-hosts today, Jay Bone and Alicia, and it's just us. And this is the Impact and Access TV Review for Thursday, April 8th, 2021. Not Tuesday. It is Thursdays, which means tomorrow, Friday, which means this is Friday, Junior, which basically means Thursday is the new Friday. So it's a holiday. It's already the weekend. That's yeah, the pre-party. Pre-party. This is basically like the kickoff to the weekend. That's kind of cool. That so is this, so. is this kind of like who's on first, what's on second kind of? I don't know what you're talking about, Jay Bone. Is this some kind of like old That's reference? Yeah, what are we saying here, Jay Bone? What are we talking about? You're killing the you're killing the mood already here, Jay Bone. You're already, you're already ruining the mood here. I'm, I'm dating myself. That's very some people and some elderly people in the chat will get that. You shouldn't be dating yourself. You're married. All right, let's go on. All right, anyway, <laughs> Mark is out today, guys. Mark is uh, on vacation. He's taking his first vacation since the pandemic. So if you do follow Mark on Twitter, wish him a safe uh, trip. And then Bill is out is seeing. I think what is it? Seventy three shows. This week in Florida, seventy-two and three quarters. Seventy-two and three quarters show. I think he's gonna leave early from WrestleMania. Is what it is, right? So that's the three quarter show. He's Gotta leaving the traffic. Yes, so he's down there. Uh, so it's just us today. So we're gonna hang out with you guys and do the um, do the review tonight. But uh, Alicia, what's going on? I like the backdrop, the follow Bob backdrop. It's pretty nice. I figure every week I would change the shirt. I like it. Just to show off some shop and pack fun. Um, there you go. I also got Gizmo driving the Barbie car, but that's not reading so well was, on the camera. I was, I was about to ask, like, what car is that? Now it's <laughs> that's a, now I see that it's more than just the car. That's, that's a awesome. Lo- that's a lovely dose of old school. I'm sporting the Iron Maiden truck. Am you I dating like... myself now? Oh, geez. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm almost away from 31, so or 35. See. You're almost We're there. Already right. years. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, the yeah. too young. Going on. You're still all babies compared to me. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is very true. Uh, especially some of our listeners, Dave. When they weren't even uh, born when you started watching wrestling. How's that, huh? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I got the Sue Young going today. That's my shirt of the day. Uh, since we have a little Sue Young tease tonight. So um, very cool. Oh, by the way, speaking of Shop Impact. Uh, all the DVDs are back up now, so, which includes that Slammiversary one that I've been trying to get. So that is up there. And they got a sale going on. Buy four DVDs, get one free. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, first show on Thursday, everybody. So we're going to break it all down. Uh, j I'm sure you got news because there was there's some somber news there's too some tonight. News. There's some news that that really didn't make us happy this this week. Uh, really bummed us out, to be honest. So I've, I've, I've got a healthy dose of really cool and kind of, you know, big bummerish so good we're, we're gonna need it we're gonna need it because i mean yeah i mean we, we I, I hope you can balance it out because otherwise it's just a you know i can't have that jay but i need i need some good news i need i don't i don't need a, i don't need the the sparkler of, of news so let's let's, let's kick oh, it I'm, off jay I'm, I'm, I'm not bringing any giant bombs but i got news so. he's got news let's kick it off with the news then let's do it all right here we go everybody jay bones news jimmy christmas and now jay bones news He's got one bad, big bit of bad news that we're not too happy about. The rest, I have no idea what to talk about. I'm all discombobulated. The bad news has me. Jay Bone, cheer me up. Anyway, take it away. Searching for my fake wrestling news. You better cheer me up, Jay Bone, because the one bit of news is, is already, it's got me really down for like the last three days. All right. Well, we'll, we'll start out with the breaking news that came uh, earlier today. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Actually, there's a couple pieces. We got one during the show tonight. Okay. We got okay. one one during the show, and we could talk a little more about that later. I didn't check out all the faces in the picture. It was a little small. Uh, I'm waiting for like the official teaser from the website, but we're getting micro brawlers season number two. I saw that. Who who's it going to be? We do you know who it is? We're getting uh, what, Ace Austin, Josh Alexander, uh, and then it gets a little fuzzy. J- Ace Austin, you're unprepared for the news, Jabo. You are unprepared for this. It's been a bangorama. Yeah, you were unprepared for the bangorama, Jabo. But hey, we're getting Ace Austin. <laughs> Ace Austin. That's why I had to quick, I quickly went with the did Ace I, Austin. Did I, did I mention Ace Austin? Yeah. Uh, you- <laughs> no, there's like there's like four or five of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, Scott. Thing. Scott uh, Scott Demore is one of them. Okay. And right. uh, Anderson. Anderson is Swan. one of them. Okay. Because there was a Gallows no. already, right? Gallows was before. He was in the first season. I oh, really? They one. didn't release 
release them together? That's no, crazy. I think we well, kind of make it exclusive, right? By doing it that uh, way. Okay. Oh, I, Carl I, I Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Gotta catch John, them all. Cool. Okay. Okay. Josh Alexander, Carl Anderson, Scott Demore, and Ace. And I Snow. guarantee yeah. the series is going to sell out pretty fast. Well, the last one sold out in like a day, right? It yeah, was like well, it was a couple gone. Of days, yeah. That's awesome. Wait, who's making them? Is this a Pro Wrestling Tees thing, or who's actually like selling these? Or is it on? Is it on just I'm, Shop Impact? It's Shop Impact, but I think it's through Pro Wrestling Tees. It's like exclusive to Impact. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I'm being made fun of for calling it series two. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, did you call it, Dave Bone? Episode show. two? Season two? I <laughs> called it season series. two. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's I, 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 episodic. <laughs> yes, Daniel's friends are going to see that. <laughs> episode, episode Swan, episode eight. <laughs> episode episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be season two of the Microballers, episode Demore, episode Ace Austin, and episode... Carl Anderson. I can't right. wait to watch. <laughs> <laughs> wait to watch this season premiere is going to be the shit. Right, Live action micro brawling. <laughs> there we go. Wow, this is off the rails already. Shit. <laughs> yeah, this is horrible. All right, go on. Jake. What else we got here? All right, so uh, uh, we got a lovely tweet earlier uh, today from Eddie Edwards. Says, uh, I'm going to just read this instead of hooking it all up because it's a combination of tweets, so not to confuse anyone. It says, I'm very excited for this. I've always wanted to try and give back to the world of professional wrestling. I have been so lucky to have amazing friends, trainers, and veterans who have taught me and continue to teach me to this day. It's time to pay it forward. Hashtag die hard dojo so nice here's 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 another part of that so dig new england all-star wrestling said breaking news new england all-star wrestling teams with eddie edwards and uh hardcore athletics um says uh on a new pro wrestling training program coming to hashtag boston hashtag massachusetts this summer visit facebook dot com forward slash die hard dojo right now for registration and information nice hell yeah nice. i mean anyone's gonna be a trainer eddie edwards can be a trainer no no doubt that's awesome and if that's you want to cool. see the great news hell yeah yeah great because i mean he's he's tw- what what they say during the show tonight uh 20 years plus yeah 20 plus years doing this yeah uh, great to see that it, he he deserves that to have that and uh, you know whoever he's you know partnering up with to mm-hmm. have that uh, that uh, that opportunity to give back it's amazing so yeah go check out New England All Star Wrestling on Twitter for the rest of the press release uh, with the promo with that nice yeah do that guys anybody's looking to train you can if you're in your, not the uh, Northeast North that's uh, at, at Edward, Eddie Edward training a training school that's you're you cannot get a better teacher than Eddie Edwards to, to learn from. So uh, cool. What else you got, Jay? I, I got quick. this is now this hits me on a personal note for hmm. anyone curious. Uh it's three weeks later. Today I got my COVID dose vaccination number two. Number two. Jay Bone is officially safe and I have the runs. He's having some side effects today. Unfortunately, that's that's what they say, Jay Bone. You're gonna have some side effects. No, nothing fell off yet. Nothing fell off. No, I mean, I could, I could, I could feel it in my arm a little bit. It's a, you know, it's like the muscles, you know, getting a little. I, I can feel it. You know, I feel like something's happening in me. Like I might grow a tail or something. You, you're know. not gonna dance again on this, Delisha. Did you see the clip of J Bone dancing on Tuesday? Yes, <laughs> I did. Here it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it what is. You guys get up to over there. Jeez. <laughs> he was trying to impersonate Ron the Truth Killings. And all of a sudden, he's, I just look over, and he's doing this. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Woo! J-Bone got his shot. He is dancing. All right. He is dancing. That's um, the side effect of the shot, is J-Bone dancing. This- <laughs> Yikes. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to bust out the cardboard and go completely old school and just, you know, <laughs> do a spin a or something and break my neck. No. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling okay. No no rash side effects yet. I'm fine. Um Mrs. J Bone got shot number one yesterday, nice. and Pops gets shot number two tomorrow. Cool, so. very nice. The Bone family is is ready to go. Nice, good job. Oh yeah, cool. What else and, you got? 
And then on to some more somber news. All right, we we know we had to talk. I want to spend a little a minute on this, and and this was sound. This hit us hard, all of us. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah. Uh, so we found out. Uh, what, what was it? A couple days ago. Yeah, within the last summer, in the last couple of days, uh, Thornstow, who we just had on the show a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. which we consider to be one of our best interviews ever, uh, informed, Great interview. yeah. informed the world that uh he and uh luster the legend are no longer reno scum is no longer with impact wrestling dude what a bummer how how bummed out were all of us man and our like we have like a group chat and where we all talk yeah. about stuff and like i think it was like the unanimous bum out by all of us because number one we just had him on too yeah i haven't so, felt right for days yeah it's i love bullshit it is <laughs> It is loud. Excuse my language. No, it's okay. Let's. Just... It's all good. It's positive. I just had to have that slight outburst. No, yeah, no, it's okay. Take, take it. it. All right. I think everybody gonna... agrees with you. We, we're not. We're not going to sugarcoat it, but we're yeah. not going to like you know flip our no, computers. They, they're positive about it, so we have to be positive about it. And I can't wait to see where they show up in the future. I plan on any East Coast states that they end up at. I'm going to go. Yeah. No question about it. wherever they they end up. I'm gonna watch. No yeah, question love about and it. Support guys. Yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't see it, I mean, Thornstow was on the show and like for an hour, and like learning so much about these two. They were like they're like the coolest dudes, and it's like, man, how do you? I mean, look, I, I I'm I'm not gonna pretend to know about the business side of of everything that that why they got released, but that sucks. I felt like they never got the full fair shake either in the company and i'm like man it's just a bummer it's just a bummer they never got to have that full because he loved the company so much yeah. the way he's talking about it. he wasn't even at oh, the yeah. tapings that night he was on with us and he's like just that love he had i'm like man you want people like that on your roster who just love working for you you know and it's like yeah. that's sad yeah that's sad so yeah and so and i'm i i've i i hope they get uh here's that word scooped i hope they get scooped up from someone you know, I don't care if it's uh, uh, maybe a smaller company like Ring of Honor who's trying to like rebuild, mm-hmm. maybe someone like NWA or or someone. You know, they get the big break from you know somewhere up north or somewhere down south. I don't care. I just hope somebody scoops them up. You know, because they deserve it. They're twenty years plus running, whatever. You know. Yeah, I mean, dude, honestly, it's it. it I, I hope somebody picks them up and then and then gives them the ball because I think they deserve it. So. Um, you know, we saw with the former rascals last night, they had a huge, a huge, um, a huge run after leaving impact. Like it can happen. Oh, Maybe yeah. sometimes they're, they're having a great start in NXT. They just became, uh, they picked up the vacant NXT tag team championships at night. One of a big takeover special thing, yeah. NXT t- NXT and, uh, you know, Raw and SmackDown are both having their, uh, cumulative night one and night two specials. So, yeah. They, um, you know, it, look, it, it is what it is. Um, I just hope they end up on their feet. And yeah, a company like Ring of Honor could totally use them, no doubt about it. They're they're in like a rebuilding process. You know, take them. They, yeah. that, you want an experienced team who like who can get shit done. There's your tag team. Like oh, imagine yeah. Reno Scum against the Briscoes. Shit, yeah, I'll take that. Throw that on. I don't care. But um, yeah, told. So I would say this, oh guys, if uh, if you are fans of Reno Scum, uh, support them in the meantime. They got T-shirts up, Pro Wrestling tees, uh, their music. You know the Reno Scum theme song, which they sing. We we put a link to it on our Twitter and everything. So yeah. seek it out, get it, download it, support. The, just let them know they're still loved until they end up somewhere else. So um, show the love on for Adam Thornstone and Luster, a legend. But uh, anything else, Jay? No, that's unless you got something. Um, but we got well, we got an updated card. I'm waiting for it to pop up on the website. I don't, we can we can hit it at the end if you want. If it's up by, <laughs> on the website by the end of the show. As far as like the hardcore justice, uh, they oh, just run through it. Is it is it not? Oh, it looks like we got the updated card. We got right, it. it right, it right really through real quick. Added. All right, so we got the <laughs> some of these names are <laughs> you got to chuckle at them a little bit, but it's okay. I love it. <clears throat> we got a Charlie legal match <laughs> charity legal <laughs> what Ch- chairs are legal okay so <laughs> i like that charity legal book this tommy drew go ahead tommy tommy that's it tommy <laughs> Sh- shira versus hernandai hernandez 
We've got a hardcore blindfold match. They they called it something else. During yeah, they the call blind core match. What do they call that match? They, they call it something else. <laughs> yeah, they, Tommy's called it something. I forget what it was. Uh, but it's uh, Brian Myers versus Jake something. That that uh, has that is some that is a. Uh, did they make that after the eyes? Yeah, with him tonight. They called yeah. it after that. Wow. Yeah. They did it after, and they had a name for it. I'm telling you, the a chat blindfold. knows. Jesus. No, like they, he said it. He, he gave it a name, and then and then Brian Myers like, "What the hell is that?" He goes, "It's a blindfold match." <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, blind, <laughs> no, they call it like blind. Core blind games. Something. That's blind it. Thank games. you. Oh, blind games. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Dead Punk. Blind games. It's a blind <laughs> games match. And he's like, "What's like? What the hell's a blind games match?" He goes, it's a blindfold match. <laughs> but, we go, okay. They didn't mention this one. This is in the house. Interesting. They go Doc Gallows with Carl Anderson versus uh, Black Taurus. Oh, they didn't mention. I didn't. That, that was not said on the show. I, I must have missed that. If that no, was said on the show. No. So that's such a uh, random well, match. Black Taurus with uh, Decay. So that means that that keeps uh, Decay and uh, the Good Brothers on the show in some form. Okay. okay, that's gonna be a good match, though. Oh, yeah. actually, yeah, it will, it will be like it's it's weird. Let's just like can go, yeah. I see it written out, it's weird, but it's like, man, that's gonna be a banger match too. I mean, really? great, great showing for a uh, uh, Black Taurus there. Yeah, so, right with, on. Uh, it, with a veteran like. Good, oh, th- this was uh, it. That's this right. was. Ingrid says right here, this is why. Because Decay and Eddie mocked the Good Brothers in the locker room. That, that's what it was all leading up to. We were all wondering about it last week. Remember, we were oh. like, like, why is Decay over there mocking them? Like, okay, huh, it makes sense. Got it. There we go. Thank you. That's cool. I like how all these matches kind of formed through a random storyline. Brings it all together. Uh-huh. It's just it these weird, like, parallel dimensions that, like, lead up to rebel. Like, it's just, like, all this hardcore justice storyline going on here. But, like, the rebellion storyline but they're they're real parallel and they're all gonna meet it's just it, it's it's brilliant how they they can book two pay-per-views at once it's awesome to me i always right. love that but they got and then we got a three-way tag we got tjp with question mark uh ace austin with question mark and yeah. anyway i thought it was fulton and someone else i thought because he kept saying i've got that night off but I don't think they officially put Fulton in. He was just there. I thought, well, no, that's the thing. I thought it was Fulton in question mark and Ace had the night off. That's what I thought. I yeah. Thought that's what, uh, but anyways, uh, the third one is Josh Alexander and question mark. Who shot Bravo? Who's eternal, sh- eternal question. Well, question mark. It's a question. Who's, who's on? For, yeah. I mean, <laughs> vac- I tell you, vacants all over this pay per view. All it's over the insane. show. Vacants going to come out a winner here. All right. Cool. What else we got? We've got uh, a weapons match, a number one contender knockouts weapon match. So far, there's a lot going on in this show. There's like, so there's just nothing but gimmicks on this. It's gimmicks, but it's fun, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I, I'm liking it. There's there's nothing, none of this stinks. And some of it's a little, you know, you can chuckle at it, but uh, you got uh, Jordan Jor- Jor- Grace, not Jordan Jor- Grace, Grace, Susan, mm-hmm. Susan, but something's going on with Susan. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, Tennille Dashwood, Havoc, Rosemary, uh, Alicia Edwards, and well, we might have some more uh, surprises coming up because it looks like things are going to get a little wild. Oh, yeah, that was kind of more than confirmed today about yeah. Taylor, yeah, about Taylor Wild. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. and then what's going to oh, I don't know if this is going to headline it, this should headline it if it's not. Title versus career match. Deanna Perrazzo putting her knockouts title on the line against Jazz. Nice. Yep. And, I mean, in my opinion, that should absolutely uh, headline this. But now we got a hardcore war. That's another one. So, two, now there's a lot of rules to this. So, first of all, it's VBD. All of uh, four members of VBD versus uh, Team Dreamer, Tommy Dreamer, and three question marks, three vacants. Oh my God! I'm guessing this is probably the match, or this is one of the matches Eric Young said he wrestled even after he got hurt, because he was yeah. like he wrestled two more times, and I'm guessing this is he's still wrestling in this, and then he's then he blew his knee out. So would it be Storm and Saban filling in those spots with Dreamer? I'd imagine, right? Like that's and, especially. Are we and, getting? 
Are we getting Chris Harris it's in Chris a ring? Harris. Oh my Ooh. god! That'd be badass, man. Oh, what a year. If Chris Harris comes back to team, if holy shit, if I see the death sentence from AMW, like if they can pull off the death sentence in this match, I'm I'm done. I'll, I'll just I'll retire on the weekend. That's it. Huge pop. Huge pop. But <laughs> I loved it today, though, that whole thing in today. But go ahead, Jim. Anything else? So it's a hardcore war. The, the rules here is two men start alone for five minutes. Every two minutes, a new man enters from alternate teams. Okay. The, the match cannot end until a final man has entered. After all eight men have entered, the match is won by pinfall or submissions. No disqualifications. It's basically... War games. It's war games. It's, it's war yeah. games. <laughs> it's hardcore war games. Awesome. All right. Well, there you go, guys. That's is that it for uh for hardcore justice? That is it. All right. Get, if, uh, there, if there's any more, my brain's gonna melt. Daniel Spencer saying there's two added to rebellion. Do you have those in front of you? I'll just mention those real quick, or we can wait. Oh yeah, yeah. It's confirmed that. Uh, crap. Uh, we're getting Cardona versus Myers at rebellion. Okay. And come on, Re- rebellion's really shaping up, man. Like this has become like a heavy show coming up here. This is pretty, this is gonna be pretty badass. And just to remind people, we got Swan versus Omega, title versus title, Finn Juice versus Good Brothers, Impact Tag Team titles on the line. And okay, here's the X Division Triple Threat. We got TJP versus Ace Austin defending versus Josh Alexander. Nice. That's that going to be insane. Yeah, that's two, three, four matches so far. On that so card. far. Yeah. He's still got a couple of weeks. So mm-hmm. cool. All right. You guys are all up to date on pay-per-view stuff. That's uh, that's everything. All right. Anything else, Jay? Oh, and it's also on my birthday. So. And it's on his birthday. Oh. The 25th is Jay's birthday. So, so if anybody wants to buy me the pay-per-view. You know it's gonna just, happen. Just saying. Just you know saying. someone's gonna do it now. You put it out. You put it out of the world, J Bone. You put it into the universe, and someone's gonna answer it. J Bone wants. So J Bone is going is 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 going for broke, and he's basically begging on this show. J Bone, you're just basically begging for people to buy you a forty dollars pay per view. Have you no shame, J Bone? What do they put in your arm today? You have no I, shame. You come out here in front of all the all the listeners that begging for people to buy you a pay per view. Come I on, J Bone. I didn't read the label, but it's doing something. I might gr- I might wake up with a third arm or tail or something. I don't know. My God. Jiminy Christmas. My God. My God. <laughs> Maybe it's something in my coffee, too. Let's uh, let's start off with BTI real quick. We'll mention the BTI match. Well, first off, Iceman did kind of hint about Taylor Wilde. We did yes. get the – he kind of all but confirmed that. Uh, so that was one big news bit dropped on, on BTI. But the match – was uh jazz with jordan grace and susan and the susan segment can we just talk about susan backstage real quick uh, amazing <laughs> the song <laughs> the song what she was like warming it was like her pre-match dance and it was like she was dancing like elaine and on seinfeld and it was like what were the lyrics of this song does anybody remember they were like i don't remember i'm I'm a powerful woman. <laughs> I have it all. I or something. was mesmerized by this whole scene, and I feel like that's how I start <laughs> warming up before working out. It, I, it, it ranked right up there with "I'm a sexy boy." You know, it's <laughs> basically. I she was like she just reminds like of these like these basically you know, Susan slash Karens who you know are totally stiff, but like when they really want to get down, man, when they're, when the girls go out to Chili's on that weekend, they leave the kids with the husbands and they get wild. All the Karens get wild at Chili's for margarita night. This is how they act. And this is it. And it was awesome. I just could not, the fucking lyrics of this song had me going. You have to listen to the song and somebody found it. Um, slipped my mind. Somebody tweeted to me. They're like, you gotta play it on T and I tonight. I'm like, we can't cause we'd get a copyright strike, but you guys have to, you guys have to listen to the song. It's, it's so amazing. Good. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> but, so good. Uh, Jazz did win. She got the win because she smashed Susan into the stairs. Those two stairs spots tonight. It was this one and the Jake something stairs thing. I oh. called it though. I don't know if anybody saw my post on Twitter, but I no. Said would you say that that headshot? Something wicked comes this way comes with that headshot. And oh yeah, yeah. Called. Now it makes sense. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because yeah. she hit her head. And she was like loopy because it was kind of it was like I don't want to say a flat finish, but it was kind of like quiet because like she hit her head and it was like she was just out. 
Yeah. You're like, what the fuck happened? Did like, she that's really it. get knocked out or what happened? Right, but right. I feel like with, with Sue, whenever something serious happens to her head, she gets, it, it starts getting that blurry for her. Totally ties. I didn't even think about that until just now that like, that's exactly what they played into later on in the show. That totally is it. That's awesome. That right, was fun. Right. Oh, okay. Cool. She got hit last week too. And right, right. We started noticing, right. Did not even put that together until just now. Good call, Alicia. Awesome. I, I like that. I mean, you can't go wrong. I, anything with Susan in it, I'm in, especially if she keeps. Now, my only worry now is I'm like, she goes back to Sue, and then we lose we lose Susan. I love Susan. Susan is the shit. Like, Susan needs to stay. I just wanted to play all three characters on the show. That'd be the best. But, uh, Jay, any opinion on that? Anything you take on that? You were doing the watch along. Sorry, I was just looking at something. No, you're talking about the... Um... You talking about the match uh, between Susan and uh, Jazz? Um, yeah, Susan. Susan looked good here, but uh, Jazz. You know, this is just warm up for Jazz for a championship match. Come Basically, on. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it was. It was. It was just I, the the whole tie in. Now I like. I really like seeing that. How it's how it's going to turn into her knocking her head and <laughs> and getting reminded of who she was and shit. But okay, cool. Uh, then we kick it off. We go so it was knockouts to knockouts. Then the opening match was Jordan Grace, Jess Havoc, and Rosemary with Decay in her corner taking on Tennille Dashwell with Caleb in her corner, uh, Nevea and Alicia Edwards. So uh, that's pretty cool. So we go from BTI having a knockouts feature to open the show with the knockouts. Mm-hmm. But this was really more focused on Havoc and Nevea. I think the whole focus was Havoc and Nevea on this. So I, I don't know. Alicia, any take on this? I think, I mean, they're really built. I think that's going to end up on Rebellion. I hope it ends up on Rebellion, I think. I, you're definitely right on that note. I feel like this match was used to kind of set up a couple of things. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think about it because it went by in a blur. I'd have to watch it again and give a statement later on. But uh, it, it just looked good. And I really like the direction that they're going with the the rivalry between Havoc and Nevaeh. It's just going to get heated up from here. Yeah, like no, they're yeah. willing to put their think of it this way: they're willing to put their bodies on the line to mess with each other. So this is only going to get escalated from here, and I love it. I uh, I want to know if they're like really going to invest more time into building it because I I liked it. Like Nevaeh is the heel, right? She's kind of like the she's the mean one. She turned on Havoc. I want more out of this though. I think this could be a really cool feud if you do it right. Yes. And plus, I think it's cool for Nevaeh to get a to get a for her first like solo breakout on TV. This would be nice. Uh, she's we'll really going to be able to showcase herself as a singles because she's a great singles competitor too. You guys just go look she, up her work. She's got she's got a, over a decade of great matches to showcase. That's the thing. People don't, like a lot of people didn't know about her prior to this, right? They think she did. That's a friend. shame. Yeah, she has a huge career prior to this. Like mm-hmm. she's been around a long time. Leach was saying like ten years. Yeah, she was basically in Shiver like from the beginning. So she knows what she's she, doing out there. Guys, she tag teamed with Madison Rain for years. Think of it that way. Bet you right. Yeah. What, what was their tag team name? Oh my God, I totally forgot. Um, it escapes me right this minute. But... It was something like it was something like kitschy. It wasn't I, I keep on saying the Minnesota home wrecking crew, but that was a different tag team in Shimmer. It was uh mm-hmm. oh my god, who remember anybody in the chat remembers Madison and Nevaeh's tag team? I'm totally blanking on this. But they were uh, they were fun too. They were good. Uh, but no, she's just always been in a tag team. That's like now it's like okay, let's go solo, let's break her on TV. And like I want to see her get the monster push. Yeah, Kim. Wait, by the way, where the hell is Kim? Was Kim on the show today? She's injured. Oh, she's injured. She is injured. I don't know if it's storyline, real life, hmm. like. But so that was uh, legit. Oh shit! Yeah. Can't Damn. wait to have her back though, man. She's she's gonna be dropped into some dope ass storylines when she comes back. I do um, miss her like next, like with the I, I, like, I, I felt yeah, it. It's today. noticeable. Yeah. yeah. I definitely felt it. I was like, man, we are missing Kimberly. Like she's, she's that good. Like she's the muscle, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I liked it. The duo of Kimberly and Deanna Perrazzo are, are priceless. And then you throw Susan in the mix and it just makes it even more entertaining. So yeah, she is missed. Um, I, hope, I, I haven't heard anything as far as what, what it what was. The injury this, is yeah, or anything. No clue. Yeah, I haven't heard anything, man. I I just she like when that injury list went out when like Eric Young got announced as injured mm-hmm. and then to somebody else and then like oh Kimberly also I was like really wait when did this happen? So I don't know. 
Well, no, so this was really cool. Um, the the ending, I, I thought the whole the whole setup for every, everybody kind of broke into their own individual fuse, which I liked. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then Rosemary hits the red wedding on Alicia and got the win on this one. But Alicia had a quote earlier this week about how she's like, I'm sick of being taken lightly and I'm I want to be a threat in the knockouts division. There was some, I don't know if she gave an interview or something, but uh, the Impact Wrestling News Twitter account, who's a great Twitter account, by the way, guys, the Impact Wrestling uh, News and Updates. There's there's two of them, um, and I'll plug them in a second. I'll give you the exact handles, but they're really good. But it put, it put something out about uh, uh, that, a quote that Alicia put out, like how she's like, I'm, I'm always underrated. I saw that, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, it was like I something. Did. I was like, I, I'm like, I wonder if this is kind of turning into something. So talking it impact. Might. Fingers crossed. Let's get that girl on a on a winning streak. Man. She needs I love something. Wish. She needs something. She's really everybody likes her. It's so like she needs something. I, um, I said this during the watch along. She looked amazing in this three on three. She really she, did. She's yes. really up her game, man. She really uh-huh. has. Uh, talking impact is the is the Impact Wrestling News Twitter account. They're awesome. Like super cool. I know he's listening. Um, listens every week. Thank you very much. Uh, the and and the, the Instagram always like sharing impact related Instagram updates as well. And then uh, impact updates underscore is the impact wrestling updates Twitter account. They're also great too. But impact wrestling news always has some really really cool breaking stuff. So go follow uh, go follow them on, on all the socials. But you know something hit me on this. Uh, Rosemary's finisher is the red wedding, right? Uh huh. And then Sue Young's was the kill switch. Yes. From a name point of view, doesn't it make sense for them to have an like switch names, like for their finisher? I, I see what I see what you mean, but I I get where they got their finisher ideas from. Um, I actually yeah. wanted to bring up a point with uh, the Rosemary and Sue Young thing because Sue is kind of starting to reflect back, and Rosemary won this match tonight, so that's obviously going to start directing her towards the uh, title yes. picture. Yes. Uh, Will their stories re-collide uh, down the road? And I don't know if anybody saw this, but Havoc has been making some interesting posts in regards to her being from the um, the Undead Realm uh, and not connecting with humans kind of thing. Like, verbatim, that's not what she said. But, Wait, Havoc um, said this? Yeah, look up her oh. Twitter. She's been making interesting posts. And so um, mm. will their stories collide in the main title picture pretty soon? Because it, it, I always feel like when they dwell into that area, um, mm. those three are the three that mainly come up, you know, because they're all from it. Yeah, we we tend to forget. Like, we can't, we, I don't want to say forget about the Undead Realm, but like, because it's like, there's so it's, much that happens it's since. It's so far removed, exactly. Damn, that's well, interesting. And, and Rosemary, um, I don't know if I've ever seen her do this before. She did an F five as a finisher tonight. Well, has really? she done that? Has she done that before? Well, they said it was the the <clears throat> red wedding. Oh, so what am I missing <laughs> I there? Say, what? I mean, I gotta rewatch it, man. No, I mean, is that is oh, just so they call that the red wedding? Like, is this, am I new to this or am I just been missing this? See, that's what I was doubting myself. Cause I was like, and I was like the, I was like, why does she have the red wedding when the, when Sue Young's the undead bride and her, and she had, Sue Young has the kill switch, but then again, Oh, Ingrid says that's her old red wedding finish. Okay. So it's, it's a, the red wedding is an F5. I just, I don't know. Maybe I just haven't seen her do it in a long time. She has done it in a while. That's the thing. It's been a while. Oh, okay. So uh, So it's kind of just revitalizing it. So that's, that's good. That's good. But again, I was thinking, I was like, shouldn't the undead bride have the red wedding? And then Rosemary should have the kill switch because she kills people. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, am I crazy? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, is we backwards here for something? It, know, make, it makes sense, but uh. maybe I'm just overthinking this. But uh, but no, that was uh, <laughs> but the havoc thing is interesting. I want to look. I want to look back at Havoc's Twitter though. She's setting that that's up. Right, that's kind of that's neat. Uh, Ingrid's Ingrid's already Ingrid Ingrid's already calling me out on Twitter because I took a picture with John E. Bravo at AAW this past weekend, and I let her. I let, I let Ingrid know that I, did, I took that picture when I was supposed to be working. Then she called me a lazy bastard in public, by the way, oh! on Twitter. Oh! So, <laughs> but um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where they're setting this up, because I want to know how they tie in all this. Yeah, you know, especially with with Sue getting those <laughs> hints back. What did she say? You What's tagged she- her. 
I did tag her. I did tag her. <laughs> no, I did. That's what I'm saying. I tagged you to let you know that I, I was supposed to be working. What a so maroon. You know. What a, what a maroon. I do need that picture autograph though. Definitely will. Like, I will definitely I should sell that as eight by tens and really, really drive this home. <laughs> like, you you need to make a 16 by 20 of that <laughs> picture and hang it above your bed a la uh, Johnny Swinger style. <laughs> <laughs> J Bump, you, you want to pull that picture up and just show the uh if anybody who hasn't seen it, it's a great photo, actually. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, while you're setting up, I'll just talk real quick. Gia Miller was with Matt Cardona backstage. We talked about um, we just found out Brian Myers rejected the match proposal from last week, and Cardona said, "I'm fine with it. I didn't come here to fight him. I didn't. I don't. I really don't want to like mess with him. I'm sick of it, to be honest." And then he goes from that to announce that he's got a match. <laughs> he's got a match tonight against Jake Something. <laughs> <laughs> this is me and John. Capital E. Period. Bravo. That's it from AAW this past week. He looked thrilled. He was super <laughs> thrilled. <laughs> you look <laughs> exuberated, bro. Like <laughs> Oh, I was I was I was super super excited. This is great. I'm doing this on the clock. And he was like, What are you doing? It was he was getting his photo taken, popping his collar, he's looking great, makeup, hair, you know, everything was being done. Checked his handkerchief, and I was like, Hey, I'm hey John, what's going on? And I told the I told the photographer, You want to keep your goddamn job, you'll take this photo right now. <laughs> <And we> took- <laughs> so that's the photo i'll be selling eight by tens of those guys for the low low price of 29.95 with only my autograph on there oh. <laughs> alicia can have them for free though oh, <laughs> premium j bone you know, think the photos of me and bravo get out, come out all the time this is the collector's item 30 bucks <laughs> chip i'll do it shit 30 bucks j bone you gonna buy one alicia gets a free one you don't get a free one, yeah, free one. <laughs> that son of a bitch <laughs> uh, so it's Cardona and Jake something later time. Okay, now we get the teaser with the Let's Get Wild. So we get the Taylor Wild teaser right here. So they even showed her, like they showed her face, right? I like, didn't see her face. I just saw uh, like her hair and the it, lipstick. It was, treatment it was like half a face, like when she was walking away. But when so, they said Let's Get Wild, it's like, well, you know, it's Taylor Wild. <laughs> yeah. How does everybody feel about that? I want to know. Excited. In the chat. Yeah. Excited because I love Taylor Wild, man. What the, when was the last time she was in Impact? I'm trying to think what year that was. I want to. Oh, oh shit. You're asking me this. At least 10 years. I got years at least. Years are 10. never my forte. Um, I want to say like 14 or 15. Drew, like, wasn't like Drew Gar- Galloway and all that still around? When no, she was I think she was, she was yeah, gone before. prior to that. She was definitely gone prior to that. It's been a bit. So I think. This has to be at least eight to ten years that she's yeah. been around. Either way, it's long awaited, man. Yeah. So, okay, so they're saying. Oh, that so was way off. Sorry. Twenty <laughs> ten. Yeah, it's it's been a it's yeah it's been ten plus years. I, in wrestling, sometimes like if you're not a date person, like it all blurs together. <laughs> yeah. No shit. <laughs> Like what was eight years ago was yesterday for me, to be honest. <laughs> like when uh, David Arquette won the world championship belt at WCW. She's like, Yeah, I remember like a couple years ago, right? It's like, no, yeah. 20. <laughs> 22 years. When that happened, dude. Like 22 years ago. Holy shit. And you were there live. That's crazy. I was there. I high fived them. Like it was awesome. That's awesome. Um, but Taylor Wilde coming back. So she's a former knockouts champion, she's a former knockouts tag team champion. She's actually a really decorated champion at impact. Yeah. Um I think I'm trying to remember why she started. I know she became a firefighter at one point. She's in Canada, kind of went did like the, the whole other career. And then she went came back in with a podcast, and all the teases started about her wrestling again. So that's mm-hmm. awesome. So she's coming back. Question is now, where where does she go? Like, what's the fit? Because it's like a it's like a punk rock gimmick. That's what they're kind of going with. Like she's got it's, the whole. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean she she didn't really do that before did she i don't mean no I, it's, it's had, all blurry to me from 10 years ago but she had more of like a patriotic type gimmick which was weird because she was like she was canadian but it almost seemed like it was an american patriot type gimmick i, I don't know if she had that kind of gimmick i just thought she wore like a sailor style outfit. was that what it's it was cute me? and like pin up kind of oh, that was it was just more, i thought it seemed well, more like, like patriotic vintage. Oh, okay. God, kind of chick. That's what the vibe I always got from her. I could be wrong though. I always thought it was like like patriotic or something. I could be wrong too. I don't even know. But um, but now she's like it's like a punk rock thing. So maybe. I mean, I'm not really sure if, if that's kind of part of her. Huh? What's that? Just wild. 
Yeah, she's wild. But it's, all, it's, it's like all this punk rock, wow. like lettering and shit. So I'm I'm wondering if that's kind of what. It looks like she's in a CBGB bathroom. Yeah, which which is a very dirty bath. I've been in that bathroom before they closed on. It was it was horrific. <laughs> <laughs> but is that, so, is that like me once getting busy in a Burger King bathroom? Absolutely not, Jay. Well, I don't even want to know what that story is. I I prefer you never speak of that again. Uh, it sounds like it's worse than the checker story with you. I I. We we are all scarred from even just that little tease, J Bone. It's Please. it's uh, uh well, that was another hit and run. <laughs> Jesus, oh, I have seen that penis. My God, Jay. Sorry, oh, sorry, God. sorry. It's... What's with you in fast food like like shenanigans? What happens to you in fast food restaurants, J Bone? It's uh, old school hip hop was my inspiration. I was a bad boy. <laughs> I don't know whether to say congratulations or I'm sorry. Me either. Me uh, either. Flashbacks. <laughs> Flash uh, we uh, so we go okay. So we go backstage after this, and that's where we get the Sue tease, right? The tease now. Mm. I've taken that hit. She's kind of like the doc. Well, Doctor Ross <laughs> is there, and he's like, "Sue, uh, we're here to help you with your injury." She's like, she doesn't know what's going on. Uh, when he says, "I'll see you now," she's like, starts flashing back and kind of like twitching a little bit, like the hint of like she's spacey. And then Dr. Ross says, he's like, Sue, tell her, Susan, your time has come uh, to like see him. And she like all of a sudden turns into like the voice and the, the I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? So the flashbacks have started. It's officially happening. I felt Sue, like he said something specific that triggered her. He said, I, your, ti- your time has come. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, Susan, your time has come like for her appointment or whatever. And like she freaks out. So. Do Young coming back? How does everybody feel about that? The chat. I want to hear what everybody thinks. How do you guys feel about Susan or turning back into Sue Young? Um, or did you want Susie back? You know, who who is your who's your preferred version of of Sue? Go ahead, Jay. What, what if it's like a hot mess? What if we get like the 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 undead bride with you know in the Karen suit? Mm-hmm. With uh, the the poodle skirt, I don't know. You know, a little bit of mix everything, and she comes <laughs> back all weird, like she doesn't know what she's like, doing, like a Frankenstein Susie. Oh my god, Susia, Suzanne, <laughs> Suzanne Young. Oh, this would be Suzette, Suzette, <laughs> Suzette. Oh, no. Suzette. So it's a hot have, mix of everything. Yeah. No, Suzette would have to be like a fifties, like like a pink lady oh, from yeah. the Greece. That'd be Suzette. Oh my god, that should be the next one where she's like, she's All like a pink lady. Is that when they give that woman an assignment, she understands it. I just imagine that she just like like method acts it all the way home like when she's like all right well i guess i gotta be uh a karen actually, this is it now <laughs> actually if it's, it's suzette then she's got to be like the age it would be like ranking right up there with 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 johnny swinger it'd be like the 80s uh workout outfit with the that's leg, more of a suzette yeah you're right you're right leg warmers <laughs> with the uh tights and the, 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 the body suit the neon color head oh my god me. i'll take it <laughs> Like Swinger and Suzette, <laughs> be an amazing tag team. It would it would totally fit with what she was, whatever dance thing she was doing. You know. Oh, dude, the dance is so under. If you guys haven't seen the dance, I think Jay, you could you could share the dance. You could share the dance on here if we, if we show that uh, through I'll, their Twitter. I'll I'll gl- Oh oh, you mean sh- share I, I would it, share, share it here. It. I would show it no, here just just because we're talking it right now, J Bone. Yeah, I should go to reenact the J Bone. Can you do the suit the the Susan the, the toe steps? Oh my God! The mu- oh Jay, please oh, find the so clip. Good. Just play so it through good. their Twitter because then that we won't get taken down for that one. You, you guys have. If anybody missed this, you have to see this. This is like unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> the, the song was just like, "I'm a woman with power. I got all the power for a woman." Like it was just like, just this self empowering shit. Yeah. Like she's just fucking. I'm gonna goddamn take over. <laughs> <laughs> I got this shit. You know, like don't worry about me. I'm it's in the coming. zone. It's <laughs> The kids are at the babysitters. I don't give a fuck right now. Like that's what that was. You got it, Jay? Well, it's it's coming. I'm, I'm oh, it's okay. coming up. It's coming. I'm up. gonna speak to everyone's manager. Everyone's manager. <laughs> give me the <laughs> give me the manager's manager. I don't give a shit. <laughs> give me. A, let me talk to my manager. You don't have a manager. I don't give a fuck. I'll call, I'll call my mother right <laughs> now if I have to. <laughs> It's so good. Right, while Jay's looking for that, I'm gonna just set up the next match. It's Cardona and Jake something. 
So sound off on your thoughts on that one. That's going to be the next one we talk about. After I'm seeing one. a thousand retweets of the Taylor Wilde promo. So just yeah, it's in there. It's it's down there. You got to look for a little bit because uh, it was early in the show. But um, with Cardona, yeah. So guys, give me your thoughts while Jay's looking for that. Cardona and Jake something. This got set up tonight. Uh, this was a, it's a nice spot for Jake. You know, for, I think it's good for Jake. It was good for, for Cardona to kind of get away from some stuff. But I got I got some opinions on the, or as Jay would say, opinions. I love the way Jay says opinions. He really emphasizes. Did anybody notice this? You always say opinions. I never noticed that. I always say, I was like, it's like in my personal opinion. And I'm like, I love he's that. from Wisconsin. It's Ganson. It's, it's it always Ganson. sounds so dignified the way he says, in my personal <laughs> opinion. And I'm like, here I am, just like a schmuck, just going, opinion. I got an opinion about this. <laughs> I, am the, I am the most professional podcaster. <laughs> podcaster. All right. Here we you go. got it? All right, we're gonna share the Susan dance. You guys have to see this. This is this is fantastic. This is, this is gonna blow. This is gonna blow Tic Tac up. <laughs> Tic Tac. Th- this should be on Tic Tac. All right. Here we. Here we go. Here it is. Oh my god. Oh, mute it. Trust me, I am Susan. <laughs> Trust me, I am Susan. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's more. Oh, there was more. She goes back to it. I love the lyric. I'm a powerful woman. I always get what I want. <laughs> like, what a great song. Amazing. Oh, God. That needs to go on TikTok. How do you submit a video to TikTok? I, I got the. I don't know. N- Nicole's in here. She's, she knows all about TikTok. She's got I've got some extra gum on a shelf over here. I don't have TikToks, though. Take it easy, Jim. My phone it. always auto corrects TikTok to TikTok. TikTok always, every time, every See, time. See, I'm not the only one, Trent. No, that, no, that no. always tells me that I have no business being on TikTok. Talk. TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> oh, yikes! Good for you. Oh, none of us need to be on TikTok. <laughs> Except Kyle. Kyle is a people. <laughs> Kyle loves TikTok. Nicole is all about TikTok. She loves her TikTok too. She's all about it. Nurse loves her and loves TikTok. There's does, some, and I get. Does she have a TikTok? What's that? Does she have a TikTok? She does have one. Does, She's. Does she TikTok? She talks. She does talk on there. If she, I, if she, that's if, cool. If she wants to share her TikTok talk, she can. Uh, she can put it in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> if she post wants to it. share. It. Yeah, post it, Nicole. If you want to share your your TikTok talk in the chat. That's, All right, let's. Can, wait, can you view it if you don't have TikTok? You can view it if somebody sends you a link. That's oh, the only okay, thing. Okay. Yeah. Let me send you a link to the individual video. That's, the only, that's how I watch it. Okay. So Swack fan says tic tac toe. Now I'm just confused. All right, take it easy. All right, let's talk Cardona and Jake something. This was um it was two big dudes. Mark texts me during this and he's like, he's like, I really gotta watch this back with more detail because this is like too big. Because we forget like Cardona's a big ass dude too. Like he's a giant guy, actually. So this was two big guys like beating the shit out of each other, which I liked. Um it was a DQ though because so the, the the finish was weird because Brian Myers comes out and he attacks Jake uh-huh. and he t- sends Jake into the into the um the stairs so another stair spot so but he and they're implying that Jake's eye got taken out here so my thing was I don't know I was confused on this I'm like why did he take out Jake because afterwards he challenges Cardona at re- to re- at rebellion uh uh-huh. yeah so I'm like well, I'm like, why'd you take out Jake's eye though? At, like, I was thinking, I'm like, having a blindfold match this weekend. Yeah, but like, is Jake involved in any of this? You know, that was my only thing. It's like, where does Jake fall into this? You took out Jake's eye. So my my thought was, and in the chat, sound off on what you guys think about the finish too. But I'm gonna ask you guys. So I was like, okay, so he takes out Jake's eye. Cardona wins by G- DQ, and then I was like, okay, then he challenges. Like, I'll take your challenge at Rebellion. But like, wouldn't it made more sense if he? If he took out Cardona's eye and then Jake won or whatever it was, you know, so I he see. took out, so I was thinking like take out Cardona. Then it's like, they're both, they're both one eyed bandits. Right now. It's like, now we have a blindfold match because we both got one good eye. So oh, the weird, the finish is weird. So I'm like, where does Jake fall into all this? So well, I don't no, know. Jake's only got well, one eye. Jake's got one I- eye. What is he supposed to do now? <laughs> Go ahead, Jay. Yeah, so, you know, uh, uh, Myers is going to have to cough up one of his patches and give it to 
uh, Jake something for his, uh, you know, his his good eye that he has because his other eye is bad. That's how that's how he's always going to be. Patches blind. for ten take bucks. Something, <laughs> take something eye patches soon available yeah. on Shop Impact. Shop Impact. There we go. <laughs> you they get an say, eye patch. You get an eye patch. They just say something is wrong with my. I eye. Might, I might have to get that. And Jake something <laughs> eye patch. <laughs> It's gonna be funny if, like, if Jake's like my first piece of merch on it, Shop Impact is an iPad. <laughs> <It's an iPad. laughs> like, it just says something's wrong with my eye on the iPad. <laughs> Dear God. Actually, that'd be a funny eye patch to have. Like, just you, you can have plain pirate eye patch, or you can have something's wrong with my eye. People are like, oh, okay, got it. I don't have to ask you what happened. <laughs> I know something's wrong with your eye. Just read this. Something is wrong with you. So what everybody think in the chat? What do you guys think of this match? Is it the finish? Does it, does it make sense? Because we're also we're also thinking like like where does Jake go from here now? I'm like, what do you you took out Jake's side? Does he bat, does he back up Cardona? Does he get does he stay involved in this whole story? I hope he does because like it's like then your eye. I don't want him to lose his eye for nothing. So I don't know. I'm like I hope he he does something out of this. <laughs> Yeah, at least she looks shocked. What happened? Uh, <laughs> like, I, I thought she froze for herself. No, I, I kind of sorry. I kind of got caught up. I uh, DMX died. DMX died. Yeah, I just saw a thing oh. on Twitter saying he uh, he's passed away. Really, he had a heart attack this weekend, right? I I didn't hear anything about it. He was in a coma from a drug overdose. So, oh, was that what it was? Yeah, That's... yeah. We, it wasn't looking good. He was in a vegetative state over the last few days. As they were said his kids and everybody related to him were going to visit him. No shit. Goodbyes. Yeah, it, it wasn't looking. I, we as soon as they said that he was in a vegetative state after a drug overdose, it's like, nah, he's not coming back. I um, I I had no idea, no idea whatsoever. <clears throat> so yeah, pour one out for DMX this weekend. Yeah, that sucks, man. Piece. That really stinks. Oh, I was putting the wrong date up there. That's the right day. I was putting the wrong show date uh, banner up on the uh, on the thing earlier today. So <laughs> we gotta get rid of some of those old ones. There, that's the right one there. Area four eight twenty one. My bad, everybody. But um, damn, rest in peace, DMX, man. Yeah, shit, that's crazy. It's sad to hear that. That's really sad. I heard he had fallen on some like rough times. All right, like wasn't he like? He was, like re- he was in rehab a few times over the last like, yeah, like blew all of his money and stuff. Like I can't, I heard I heard like I didn't know. I was like, man, I thought he was still like on on still had pretty good falling or anything. I had no I had no idea he had fallen off that bad. Man, rest in peace to DMX. Yeah. Definitely a uh Stay rapper away from morning. drugs, kids. Stay away Shit. from drugs. Bummer. Total bummer. Yeah, it's bummer. But um sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's definitely they'll throw you off, that's for sure. That was I didn't anticipate that, so yeah, sorry. No, no, for oh, sure. Where did we leave off? Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no worries. No worries at all. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm kidding. so where does Jake go now? For me? That's my only question. I, it's a good match. I just don't want to lose his momentum, so we'll find out what happens to Jake. Um, um, we say that, I feel, and I say this, but they'll do something cool with him. I did, yeah. I just, I want it to be, I want it to be for, for something, like him taking his eye taken out. Like something should come of that. I feel like I'm using well, the word. I feel like I'm saying something way too often here. But go ahead, Jay. It's all surrounding Cardona versus Myers, <clears throat> and un- unfortunately, uh, Jake something is kind of just kind of stuck in it, just to kind of keep everything going. Mm-hmm. You know, because somebody's got to have something to do at hardcore justice doesn't it feel awkward saying something in like the other context but like we're yeah. talking about doing something and they're like you're trying to think of another word to use there because you're like i don't want to keep saying the word something over and over but i have no other word for the word something jake something <laughs> we, need, we need a synonym for something we need a, do we need to see like a what like a fucking like thesaurus sitting over here uh so we'll see i'm pa- i'm gonna be patient on this i just don't want jake to lose any momentum i think he's in a good spot hanging with like Sabin and Storm. It's like, all right, let's keep him. Let's keep him here because I just don't want him to fall off. So Triple uh, XL finds Trey backstage and teases him before the match. And they're like, oh, look who it is. It's our, our opponent tonight in the tag team match. And he's like, oh, don't you guys watch the show? What a shame. You guys go. You guys get paid enough. You don't even watch the show that you're on. He's like, no, I'm not a team with Sammy. You guys must have missed the, the message. I'm not teaming with him. Bottom line. 
And, um, you know, he just kind of snaps at him, and then they kind of laugh at him a little bit. So a little, little mockery before their tag team match. So basically, we're getting the idea that Trey is not teaming with Sammy. It's not happening. He's just not giving yeah. into this shit. But the setup you kind of got here, which I love the logic in the writing, because like later on when Trey does come out, I love that that um, Striker does say like, you know, he's not here for Sammy. He's here for himself. And it's because the tieback is like Triple XL mocked him. So it's like those little details, right? Like he wasn't going to come out to help Sammy, but you put in a little thing right here where Triple XL is like, ah, you fucking pussy. And, you know, he's like, like, you know, fuck you guys or whatever. So he's mad at them, basically, is what it is. That's why he's coming out. So that's I like that they dropped a little hint an hour before. And it's like, cool, here you go. Here's your logic. So I, it was a perfect setup. I think that's that's the kind of stuff you there's a little details that like I feel so many wrestling companies forget to put in that impacts fantastic at just those little tie in details. Uh, we go right from that to violent by design. And they're talking about the uh, the loss from last week. Eric Young, he's talking about just how, yeah, he did lose, but they're going to carry the message forward. And he says, tonight, he's a Diener did fail many times. He goes, tonight, he's not going to fail against Chris Saban. But if he does fail, he's going, there's going to be consequences. So they're at this point, I'm thinking like Diener is already like at risk of being out. But we see that, we see how that ties in later on. So, right. But they look cool. Am I crazy? Like, design by design look awesome, though. Like the four of them actually, they're a cool looking group, though. Oh, I just, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, I was just gonna say they're like a pack of hyenas, man. Dude, like... They look cool. <laughs> they look cool, man. Um, I do like the look, the t-shirt, like the the image is cool. It's like veterans, not super old, like they're really strong veterans who can all go pretty much. Oh yeah. The, I saw this earlier today as I was making dinner before the watch along. Um, Rhino did a great little interview with uh Wrestle Zone on their socials you can see it on their uh their youtube or whatever and he actually talked about how much it actually makes sense mm -hmm. to uh join violent by the Des design right now because it gives him a chance to let out some of that old school ecw rhino out so yeah it just mm -hmm. makes sense and that's not a bad thing you know he's he's a well-known veteran mm -hmm. that um he's he's well respected he can still go and this just kind of gives him a little he, – he, he talked about always being somebody's heater, like you know, all the way back to Christian and Edge days. Mm -hmm. you know, he was their heater. And it's like, all right, so now he's Eric's heater. And he, you know, being with uh, guys like Dieter and uh, Joe Doring, uh, they're no slouches. You know, it's not a bad thing. So. Yeah. I uh, One cool thing, Alicia, we noticed on, uh, on Throwback – was it Kid Cash J who was wearing a T-shirt that said "I am violent by design" uh, back yeah, in two thousand three? It was violent by design tour, so it was like yeah. a band, somebody's band shirt. Yeah, it was Jedi Mind Tricks. It was uh, that was their album. Oh wow! Remember them? At least, did you remember them? Because nobody, I, I called this out the other day. And it's like who? I'm like no Jedi. I don't was, know. No, <laughs> they were like a hip hop group in the two, early two thousands. They were pretty popular. Were they with called? Jedi, Jedi Mind Tricks. Jedi Mind Tricks. If I heard them, I'd probably maybe. I think you would. I forgot the name of their hit, but like Jedi, but that was their. So Kid Cash in 03 was wearing a t shirt that said, I am violent by design. So it was an interesting little tie in. So um, totally unrelated, but it was funny to see that on throwback. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, see, Brandon knows. Brandon's a hate found, but he knows Jedi. He does Jedi mind tricks. Cult fall, like super underground, like not super underground, but like underground enough um, that it was like they had a hit, they had some hits, but they weren't like like DMX level hip hop popular, you know? Um, Okay, Boomer. <laughs> oh, fuck. J-Bone hitting me with that? <laughs> How dare you, man? It's funny. It's funnier because it's your face. It makes, uh, it makes sense. Uh, all right. So Triple XL <laughs> taking on Sammy Callahan and Trey Miguel. I love, I still pop for the camera shake when Triple XL walks out. Like the whole, like, as AC's walking, it's like the shaking camera. That little detail is so cool to me. But Larry D looks fucking great, by the way. Can I, can I just keep saying this? Larry D looks amazing. Mm -hmm. He's Talk ripped, man. He is Jack, dude. Like he looks so good. Um, I am so impressed with how he is just, he's just transforming himself every week. He looks so good. Uh, but it was cool to see after what happened with Reno scum this week, 
I liked seeing an original Impact Tag Team on the show tonight. I was like, okay, it's one of ours. It's a homegrown team. I got no heat. Of course, I love the Gear Brothers. I like Finn Juice. I think they're doing a great job with this whole thing. But we're low on tag teams right now. Like yeah. we're super low, especially OG tag teams, uh, and Reno you know, Scum being us. Like, okay, we got Triple XL. They're like one of our few remaining OG tag. Like, who do we got? Like, let's can we just run this down? Him in the chat. I want to run this down too? Who do we have for tag teams? Like actual tag teams right now. It's Good Brothers, Finn Juice, Triple XL, uh, Storm and Saban. Storm and Saban, who are kind of like a makeshift, right? Yeah. Just kind of like throw them together, um, team. Beer guns. Beer guns is make so then Valid by Design is kind of another. It's like you're a faction who happens to team up every now and then. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, they're Ace capable and, of being a tag team. Ace yeah, and, yeah, and they've they're, actually they've actually come out and said that we are a tag team. Okay, I was just that was going to be my next question is have yeah. they come out and just stated or are they just a team like a duo kind of thing? Who's this? Uh, Ace and Fulton. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um. Oh God. Then who else? That's the thing. If there's no like, oh, uh, I guess set. Sammy and Trey are a tag team, or I guess that's where they're trying to push that. Yeah, it's just um, one of those things where it's like it's just it's it's shit. It's oh, Stephen Torres, who, who are again who are part of Decay. It's like I look at them more as a faction who happens to team up to have matches, right? It's just, is it just me or are there are a lot of factions forming. There's over a lot of factions. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, we got. Found by design, decay. I Come believe on. TJP and Follow Bob are split as a tag team. They're they both are. singles competitors now. They, yeah, they should go back to tag after oh. TJ's done with this whole thing. Like, team them back up. I Here's... mean, because they never really officially gave them a, a split up, right? They just no. kind of parted ways quietly, kind of thing. That was it. It just kind of like he went into. He went to solo stuff and then follow kind of got into money problems. <laughs> like follow, you, you can't follow forget, hard times. You can't forget about this one. Right, I want my pizzles back. <laughs> Good one too. You got swinger and the swingerettes. That's that's a that's a triple. That's a, that's a triple team. That's Yikes. that that could be the most dangerous one of all. That's very, a, that is the most dangerous faction. <laughs> <laughs> they they run a casino. Wait, wait. Casino's great. The house always wins at that casino, man. The house Seriously. always wins. <laughs> always wins at that That's casino. That's right, Daddy. But I, I, but I what I meant guys was like more actual like just teams. They're not part of a faction. They're like triple XL is triple XL. That's yeah, the team. You know, right. like Reno Scum was the, they were the it, team. Good sure. brothers are the team. The we north need some is more. The north. Yeah, yeah the north was the north, right? That's the team. It's not like there's three or four of them and two happen to team up every now and then kind of thing. I I just want more of that. Oh, it's old school. It's like an old school. And I want, I'll tell you what, at one time, Impact was really heavy on tag teams. And I know th- I know you got you have to shift focuses, shift t- rosters and stuff, but we I and I get it because the tag titles being in Japan and Finn Juice and all that. It's kind of over here right now, so you're right. not like it's like I'd rather well, we'd rather get it's maybe more. Right? It's on the forefront, right? It's like it's, it's doing its thing and building bridges around the world right now, and it'll come come here. But it's not like it's not an inner company thing right now. Mm-hmm. So I get it's it. A, like I, I'll it's be fine. A perfect, it. It's a perfect time to just kind of move shit around. At, exactly, it's a perfect time just to like you know what. Let's let a couple more teams form up, you know, on the indies. Maybe we'll sign a couple new guys. Maybe some people get released. Uh, I feel like no besties are still floating out there. That's a team I I feel like the besties can jump right into impact like tomorrow. So <laughs> what's that? Oh, uh Ingrid said technically Heath and Rhino, and Heath still wants Rhino to call him. That's not happening. <laughs> it's definitely not happening. Yeah, if you listen to that interview that Rhino did, he's pretty much out that ain't happening he's his he's with he's with violent by design now and he said it's not up to him if Heath has a place with them in violent by design he goes that's up to someone else so. uh i do believe that Heath is gonna come back and uh, win back his friend turn him back to the good side turn him back to the good side he's be like come on man like, come on, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> broke. Come on, do, man. I need a job. I'm all broke, he's, all man. All he's going to do is, is sprinkle a little, uh, you know, something on his hair and make him, like, you know, greasy rhino again, you know? It ain't no secret. I need a job. 
That's really I really probably cool. should follow more people on Twitter, Ingrid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't seek people out. <laughs> yeah, I it, it, I think you just got to, like, as they come up in, like, your exactly. feed. Oh, hey, that person exists on Twitter. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, I will say, oh, our our new friend, Michael Cavaccini, who, who's the author of the book that, the TNA and Impact book coming out, uh, who we spoke to on Tuesday, he just met, interviewed Rhino last night, oh, too, wow. for, okay, for cool. a piece of the book. That I got to say, the people he's interviewed is fascinating to me. Like, Jared, yeah. Dixie, like, he got... Like he got to talk he got to the Dixie. Big names. Wow. He got the big dogs, man. He got like TV, Jay. What tell us? He got like the head of the guy, the head of Spike TV, talked to him. All like it was wacky. Like you guys are listening to this interview. It was a so lot of crazy. the behind the scenes people that you really don't hear about, but but that would like know certain things as oh, far as what happened blown. back then. So it's it's all going to be pieced together over the course of the next couple of years. Uh, which is, he said, it's actually going to turn into two books. If Folks, if you have the chance, go check out at least the first portion of the throwback. If you're not into throwbacks, we get it. It's kind of a niche thing. But mm -hmm. go check out that interview. It was actually a really nice half an hour with Mike, uh, Michael Cavaccini. Yeah, it was really interesting. But uh, but yeah, to move on. Okay, so we got Sammy Callahan, Trey taking on Triple XL. That was interesting because so Trey's music plays. He doesn't come out. So you're like, he's not coming. He's not coming. So they play it again. Oh, it stops. Sammy's kind of just laughing, mocking, and then it plays again. Then Trey does come out. But the interesting, the body language was he comes out and he turns his back to Sammy right away. So he's like, I'm not here. Again, I'm not here for you. I'm here to deal with these guys who mocked me earlier. So, right. uh, and this match, I think, was great. This was Trey I, has like the, the whole passion thing, I think, is like such. It's the perfect story because he gets to really display like a really intense style now too. So he was intense, man. I think Trey, it's Samuel good too. I, the whole everybody triple XL, everybody looked great in this match. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anybody was weak in this one. Um, they they definitely pulled it out. Trey and Sammy do win because Trey puts Larry D in like in the and it was a submission, right? It was like a what was that? It was kind of like a. I remember what that that submission was. It was awesome. Like he he tapped out Larry D, which I thought was oh, it was something new to his yeah. arsenal. Yeah, yeah. I forget if they called it like a, a, a dragon fart or something. A dragon something. What? <laughs> dragon fart. Dragon fart. What? <laughs> oh, no, that was a shot I did a long time ago. Never mind. Yikes. Uh, no, it was it was interesting because it was like it's to trade the whole passion thing, intensity. I love that. I mean, it's it's a different kind of trade, but then he he just walks off, like doesn't cheer, doesn't hang out. Sammy walks right off. It's oh, so, hourglass lock. I was hourglass. Close. That's it. That's I it. Was, that's what I it was. was. Close. Yeah. Thank you, Dead Punk. No, I, I remember you're right because I the name is cool. An hourglass lock. I thought that's a really cool name. That's kind of like a dragon fart. Almost, <laughs> close enough, Jay. Uh, no, it's a cool it's a cool name too, but. It's Sammy wanted to be Trey's mentor. So, uh, yeah, Delisha, you're right. They're basically leading this up to like them being a tag team. But I noticed one thing though: Striker mentioned OVE on this show. He's like Sammy led OVE to tag team. Chat. He's a former world champion. Uh, so I'm like, oh, interesting. So they're mentioning they haven't mentioned OVE in like for they act like like OVE was it's almost like it doesn't exist in some ways, you know? Like they barely talk about ove so it's kind of interesting to hear that but we'll see well, this is a developing story i i don't know if there's gonna be a conclusion or anything of any sort at rebellion i can't imagine i feel like you can keep going with it so we'll see where it ends up um any other thoughts on this jay what was the reaction on the uh in the watch long for this one which one i'm sorry trey and sammy and uh triple xl Oh, that was this was fun. I was dealing with some personal stuff a few different times during the watch along, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, it's it's just furthering this the whole story between uh, Trey and, and Sammy. And there, there's a big picture going on here that this story that's going on between them. It's it's rivalry. It's 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 Sammy trying to really actually do something positive with Trey, but Trey's been shit on by Sammy and the history between him. And that goes way back to OVE and everything. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff here and um, it's Sammy's Sammy's not going to win Trey over immediately. You know, I think there's still going to be 
some kind of big, huge battle coming up at Rebellion between the two. But it's it's going to be more about finally winning the respect. Both guys, the respect of each other. So True. So we'll see where it ends up. Um, it's a slow build, obviously. It's it's a nice slow, but you still got three weeks ish till rebellion. So see where it'll carry go. over. Yeah, Let's I wait think, and see. This one's not done at rebellion. This is definitely one you can go with because there's more to it. There's not just like oh, we're gonna have a match now. You know, he wants to be his mentor. He wants to do all sorts of stuff. So we'll see where we go. All right, next segment is probably my favorite of the night. It was uh Storm Saban and Chris Harris at. Swingers Palace. Swingers sitting there with a lot of money. All, <laughs> yeah, daddy, you know. And Bravo's so like, sleazy. yeah, so sleazy. <laughs> Bravo's dealing. He's dealing the cards. And <laughs> what is uh, Harris like? Is anybody ever win in this place? And he's like, we're same as like, hey man, we're all winners here. <laughs> like it's for being on the show. He's like, he's like, we're all winners tonight. And um, the best parts of <laughs> this fucking pot me. He uh. So Storm looks at Save and he's like, he's like, hey, don't you have a match you're ready for? He's like, yeah, I better get going. And then he's like, yeah, really. He's like, no, you stay here. He goes, he goes, here's like 3750. He like hands Harris like a bunch of his chips. He goes, you stay here, win us some beer money, and I'll be back. And he's like, hey, wait a minute. You don't know. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. He goes, he goes, oh my bad. Goes, I'm sorry. He goes, he goes, guilty as charged. He's like, that's better. And I was like, dude, I fucking <laughs> I lost it, man. It was, it was, I mean, it's such a great little tie in. I mean, I, all you need is like a Robert Bobby Roode reference. It would have been perfect, <laughs> but right. uh, awesome shit. I just laughed my ass off at that. So Harris is hanging back at Swinger's Palace, but they cut the swinger at one point. And he's, he's like, <laughs> yeah, that daddy. <laughs> 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 I feel, oh man, good. I just want to sound, we need a sound bite of good. that. We need a sound bite of that. <laughs> yeah, daddy. We got to get that. Where the hell's Kyle? We need him. Kalon, is he? He's, busy. He's too cool for us. Now. He, doesn't, he doesn't even talk to us in our like chat anymore either. He's just gone. Just gone. He's just that uh, walking in the wind shit. It really is. He's the crow now. Um. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> can't rain all the time. I cannot rain all the time, Kyle. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this cat has just gotten in the way of the he's, show tonight. He thinks he's a star. I don't know what's gotten into him. People Check love out cats. my cat butt. <laughs> yeah. It, Usually it's J Bone's cat doing this, so it's okay. Right? Yeah, my cat's in the ceiling in the next room, next county, screaming the hair off her ass. It's cat, yeah, whatever. So Jay, with your new office setup, is the cat no longer allowed in? Is that the deal? Uh, rarely, but they dig it because they're just kind of looking around like, "What is the whole wow. place? Wow. You clean this place up?" Yeah. Uh, James Storm taking. I'm sorry, uh, Chris Saban with James Storm taking on Deaner. So this is the match where this Eric Young basically have Deaner loses. He's he's, fu- he's fucked. And so they go at it. Good match. I mean, solid stuff. Just very very swift. I, the, you get two guys like this who just know what they're doing. You're not gonna have a bad match in any way. Like it's not a shit. It's not a stinker. This is like it's just a great match. They have solid TV matches, and it was it was perfect. Um, cradle shock by Saban gets the win, and then Eric Young and Joe Doring uh, are shown on the screen. So Eric Young is on the screen talking, and they're ambushing Chris Harris at Swinger's Pal. They're beating him down, and the Young's like, "This is all your fault." You fell for the trap. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you fell. <laughs> Rhino comes in, yeah, attacks. See <laughs> yeah, see, you fell right into my trap. See, <laughs> that's what it was basically. And they're beating down Chris Harris. <laughs> Uh, and then Rhino, and then Rhino and Diener. Yes, Rhino runs in, and Diener and him start beating down Harris and Storm. So they, Von yeah. by Design, walks off. So now we have it. We have that setup, right? Uh, right, Jay. It's Tommy Dreamer and three mystery opponents taking on Von by Design, right? At Hardcore Justice. Yeah, Dreamer's just pulling all the strings tonight, making all these matches. So, so three <clears> potential <throat> partners we got. Right, yeah, and I wrote I wrote down Fulton slash question mark, Alexander slash question mark, and TJP slash question mark. But apparently it's Ace. It's not Fulton. But okay. Fulton's probably going to end up with Ace. So, But that main event could very well be Saban, Storm, and Harris. Mm-hmm. Harris is coming out of retirement. First time, like I said, if I see AMW hit a death sentence in this match, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my shit. So... 
it's it's at the top of the page, which tells me they're saving that. The announcement. There, there's a surprise for for the main event. As much as I want Jazz v. Uh, Deanna Prazo to main event it. If we get a Chris Harris return in the ring, I'll accept that. Yeah, I mean, it's been damn. I mean, it was the last time he wrestled on Impact was pff, shit, two thousand eight, nine maybe tops. Oh, like he hasn't he hasn't been on the show in a long time, man. So yeah. <clears throat> uh, all for that, definitely all for that. I would love to see it. So we'll see. It's two days away. It's it's coming up. It's on Saturday. Don't forget, guys. It's a special start time, too. It's uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, right, Jay? 3 p.m. Yeah. Eastern? Yeah, 2, two Central, 3 Eastern. Yeah. 3 Eastern. So don't forget, guys. It's 3 Eastern. Uh, so they're gonna. it's going to be, like I said, we're going we're gonna to do the Hardcore Justice Watch Along reaction and then uh, immediately follows a review. So we'll be wrapped up. The whole thing will be wrapped up because I know that starts a WrestleMania night. Some people want to watch that, too. We'll be all wrapped up prior to that. So join us for that in the afternoon on Saturday. Uh, so we'll see where this ends up. This could very well be these guys, Team Otami Dreamer. It makes sense. It all kind of lines right up to it. So hopefully we get Chris Harris. Gary uh, Rossetti in the chat says 2011. So yeah, so 2011? 10 years. 10 years. And I forgot who, <laughs> there was a, was it Matt Hardy who brought him back? I remember being, I think it was no, Matt Hardy. It was, it was real brief. Yeah, I remember Matt Hardy brings him back. He walks out. He looked. They stared each other down. Yeah, I mean, still, it's nearly ten years ago. So, um, backstage, this is the segment you were talking about, J Bone. This is the Ace Austin Fulton confronted by TJP and Josh Alexander, talking about their whole thing going on. Yeah, and just before defending the Exhibition Championship against Josh and TJ at Rebellion, Tommy Dreamer comes out and says, "It'd be great to have all three of you guys pick a partner." And have a special three way dance at um, at Hardcore Justice to blow off some steam. So there's your potential. Now, who do these guys pick though? That's my question. That's that's gonna be interesting, right? Like who who would who are they gonna pick? Like what's what even makes sense for any of these guys to pick? I think Alexander Josh Alexander is gonna pick Sandman. Sandman. <laughs> I was like, Wait, what? I was like, what did I miss? <laughs> what? Like, yo, I'm not doing anything. I'm here. <laughs> it's just fucking Sam, man. Just walks out. <laughs> no, but like, I, you know what? I'd like to know from the chat. I, if you guys want to sound off, who would each of these guys pick? Is, is you know, I mean, who, who would, I mean, I, I imagine Ace is going to pick Fulton, right? Like, that's, that's, uh, seems like a given. But I who think, did, like, I, I think it's, I think it's a layup for two out of the three of these. Yeah. Ace, you- and, Ace and Fulton. TJP and Fala. Now I could be wrong. It could be like someone like Suicide. You know, if it's more like a manic thing, you know. But the the big question mark here is Josh Alexander. No, the the Sandman thing. I'm just being silly. Um, honestly, I don't know. Maybe get a surprise. Ooh. Maybe it's Taylor Wild. Maybe it's Taylor Wild. What the hell? I don't know. Could be anybody. I just don't know who who else is involved in these guys' story that would make sense. Like I can see Ace going Fulton, obviously. I can see TJ going to follow because it's like they're boys, they do their thing. Maybe, but that's still a stretch, you know, with this whole story. And then who does Josh go with? I don't even know. Couldn't tell you. So I'd like to hear some people's um some people's Yeah, I'd like to see people's opinions. Yeah. I can't think like, oh man, it would be such uh uh odd couples. It is like Oh, Critical Sting says random Josh picks Chris Hero. Okay. Which one's Jay? <laughs> oh, PD Williams. Okay. PD Williams. I like that. Uh, Mark, Alicia, and Kyle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jack says J Bone, Trent, and Bill. Um, <laughs> out of the four answers so far, the two are, only two are serious. I didn't say I was coming out of retirement to start Wait. my, you know. Would anybody team with Roki? That's what I was thinking. This road he'd end up in this too. Wait, I gotta look at the actual roster. Who is available? Wow. You know what though? I can if see why. Like, like these, I need a visual. I can see why. Why uh, Kurtigos thinks that Chris Hero because Josh was posting like some Chris Hero stuff this week. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm like, huh. Interesting. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like he was posting like matches of Chris Hero, like, oh, this guy's a legend, and shit. And I'm like, and he is a free agent now, so. 
I mean, Chris, I personally love it. Chris Hero is one of the first. Okay, so we, when everything happened last year and the big, you know, the, the company up north let go, like, you know, half their people, you know, 50, whatever, you know, between office and in-ring personnel, mm -hmm. um, one of the first ones to let go from NXT, and they only had a 30-day no compete clause. One of that one from that list was Chris Hero. So 30 days was up, and I'm like just dying. I'm like, okay, he's got to show up somewhere, right? And he didn't for like, we're going on a calendar Months. year here. So and yeah, it's time. I, I'm I'm like dying to see Chris Hero. That'd he's be out cool, there. man. He's he's putting out little feelers here and there. He's active on the Twitter box. He he's has got, been. That's a thing. He's got, He's got merch. He's got that hot merch out there. So he, dude, I'm saying he's out there. I don't know. I, I know. I know. Initially, he wasn't taking any bookings during the COVID stuff. So, um, oh, but now you know it's calmed down. Maybe Armin in the chat says uh, Elgin. Oh, that's. I don't know about that. Is, I just don't. I, I just is don't he still contracted with them? Team I, Canada, baby. I think so, man. I think I think technically they couldn't fire him. You know what I mean? Like, like they couldn't fire him for like a workplace issue. So I think he was just removed. That's my my guess. Oh, they're like having him sit out his contract or something. Yeah, I think that's what it, that's Ingrid saying. It'll okay. be Bravo. Might be Bravo. <laughs> Maybe uh, Bravo will team up. Well, with our options are pretty limited. So unless they're. I'd be surprised. I can't wait to see if it's someone on a roster or if they're going to bring in new heads for those. One new uh, head in there would be great. At least one surprise. Least, well, yeah, I should say one instead of many. Um, wow, because Chris Bay is on injury, right? Chris Bay is hurt, too. Yeah, he just dropped so, a new single, by the way. By, he was just fired. Dude, dude is so talented in the ring and his music. He's got ambition. You guys go support him, seriously. Yeah, seriously. Bay, Bay does music. He's got stuff on Spotify, iTunes. Like, support that. Um, he's good. He's good at what he does. So yeah, it's check. yeah, it's it's a mix of like you know R and B, hip hop, rap. Yeah, it's, it's it's not exactly my cup of tea, but I've checked out some of it. It's it's not uh, it's not bad. It, I'll, I'll say this: Chris Bay stuff is a lot better than some of the hip hop garbage out there. I mean, there's some really he's got good vision, yeah. creative lyrical talent. Yeah, yeah. maybe we'll get Bay on here. We can plug his stuff directly on the show. That'd be cool. Uh, Bison sat down with Bay early on, so that's on the channel. If you guys want to hear early on, Bay, that was before. That was almost well, a year ago. Bison has like all the good interview guys. If you seriously go back through our like vault and listen to them, they're so good. Yeah, he was on fire like for a while. Everybody. Bison was getting everybody uh on his own. <laughs> he was just like reaching out, like going nuts. I was like, man, you know, like yeah, like how the fuck, like what the hell are you up to? But yeah, he was getting a lot um early part of the uh pandemic time. So it's on the channel. Go check it out. Uh, so yeah, get your guesses in. I'm curious who you, everybody thinks. So we'll see where anybody ends up with. All right, there's a couple of backstage segments here. Dreamer sees Eric Young walking by after attacking Chris Harris, and then he says he's gonna get some guys together and take him down, Von by design down. And Young's like, bring it on. I'm looking forward to the challenge. So that's your match we just talked about. And then we get like a, a jazz, like a sit down, like a retrospective on her career, which I thought was really neat. Yeah, she. Had her first match the day after she started training, which I thought was amazing, by the way. And she's like, I ain't gonna say it's a good match, but it's my, it had my first match yeah. the day after I started training. And then she trained with the junkyard dog. And I didn't realize she's been around since 96, man. That's yeah. a lot. I didn't realize that. She's been, I mean, I knew her from ECW, but then then again, that's 20 years ago. So she's been around a long time. Shimmer, everything. She did a lot. And uh, it's a cool little video. It's like maybe like a two minute video. Uh, definitely recommend you guys watch it. It's it's uh, it's a whole look back at Jazz's career. It's kind of cool to see. Like she, there's old photos of her and Tommy Dreamer from back in the day. It's like man, you forget how far back these people go. Like they they got a lot of history. So it's it's cool to see just how full circle it all is like Tommy booking her in a, what could be her last match and all that kind of stuff. So she's, Oh wow. She's 48. Doesn't yeah. look it. No, Me. she doesn't. Beautiful. She was great, man. She's cool. And, um, she started, she started in her early twenties. So yeah, she's dude, 20, 25 years. This is her 25th year in the business. That's a long time, man. A lot of, lot of ladies though. Yeah. That, they don't, they don't go that long. So that's really neat. Good for her. 
Uh, she's we so gotta... awesome. Oh, God. She's a I badass. Hope we I hope we're not losing her this weekend. I, I'll be heartbroken. I love Jazz. Yeah. I love no, that we got I... her back. But I get it as well because she is on her quote yeah. unquote, retirement um, tour. So. We knew she. We didn't have her for a long time. She was here for a good time, not a long time, right? We knew I that going in. I feel so lucky we got her back for the time that we did. And she, oh, it was so cool. Yeah. You know oh, what? Yeah. People are talking about this in the chat, and I just heard that Davy Richards came out of retirement this week, or he announced he's coming out of retirement. Mm-hmm. So if he shows up, yeah, that could be another option. <laughs> like that's all. Yeah. Was that all Davy's thing? Like does that show up? Is he from Canada too? No, St. Louis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, originally from the Pacific Northwest, but he's in St. Louis. Right. So that's, why he, that's why he used to wrestle in the Midwest all the time. I, look, I no not to take away from Dave Richards. I think he's one of the best, honestly. Um, but he had a lot of – he wasn't interested in the business for a long time, and it showed. So. Yeah, he, had to, he wanted to focus on his career. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. But he's he announced coming out of retirement. Who knows, man? Anything can happen here, honestly. We've seen impact pull surprises left and right. Anything. Uh it's true. Gia Miller with Deanna talking about her um, thoughts on the match after seeing Jazz's video package. Uh, Peraza's like, I'm honored to face Jazz. However, I'm going to be the one who puts an end to her career. So it, this is going to be a show stealer, honestly. Deanna and Jazz. You're talking Jazz going to just bust everything out of this show. This is going to, I think, be this, this is gonna be a show stealer for sure. I, I love Deanna Peraza. She's a great two-time knockouts champ. And she's the future of our company. I honestly believe that. I think she's going to be around for a long time because of what other companies have done her wrong. This company has done her right. Yeah, I agree with you. But, but how awesome would it be for Jazz in her, in what could be her, her, really her last year of professional wrestling in front of a crowd or, you know, on TV, you know what I mean? Uh, in In the public eye, we'll say, um, to have that last title reign and and even if it's short yeah. i i don't care just yeah. so that she could say that she was champ one last time yeah for sure. i'd love it i love be it dope. especially because it's, it's an impact one it'd be different for her i'd love it personally like i'm talking even she loses it on tuesday kind of thing i'd be cool with it you know it's like all right cool you got it you beat her so uh, we'll, we'll find out that's going to be one to watch for sure i just think they're going to bust it out um but Jazz is cool, man. She, she's a really, really awesome, awesome talent. Just a good, that, that again, that veteran in the in the locker room. And one thing uh, she mentioned that Mir points out in the chat too, she said she was the she was the last WWF Women's Champion and the first WWE Women's Champion. Mm. So that's a, just an interesting little uh, like yeah. trivia. Uh, yeah. And, it, and then someone in the watch along chat said that they didn't uh, even mention, or she didn't even mention her NWA run. But yeah. I mean, not a lot of people know about that. I mean, that's 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 a nice thing. She was what champ for about three years or something like that. Yeah, <clears throat> and I don't know. I think NWA has done a lot of bad mouthing of impact. I don't think they're gonna put them it over. Just, yeah, yeah. It, it it just wasn't in the public eye. Not a lot of people know about it. Like if like if you weren't following jazz, what she was doing locally to that area, mm-hmm. you know, it was like a territory thing. Honestly, it wasn't like putting it on tv or hey you know just it uh, not it wasn't really out there yeah Sadly. um dreamer in his 28th segment of the night because dreamer was all over the show tonight this, this was this is the time of dreamer show tonight uh waiting for brian myers to come to the bag he like myers comes in dreamer's like you're gonna that's where he announces the blindfold uh the match i forgot what was it called again i totally forgot what it's called uh Blind shit games. Blind game. Blind games. He's like live blind games in your house. <laughs> like, in, your house. <laughs> in your house. Uh so that's gonna be uh against Jake something to come in this this weekend at Hardcore Justice. So it's Jake, Jake and Brian uh this weekend for the in the blind games match. All right, so now main event time. This, there was a lot of backstage segments in Rod and realize that. So we got Impact World Champion Rich Swan. Willie Mack and Eddie Edwards taking on AEW champion Kenny Omega with Don Callis and the Good Brothers. This was billed as Kenny Omega's first match on Impact. They kept saying it's Kenny Omega's first time on Impact on Access TV, but I'm like, no, he's been on this whole time. 
Well, yeah. first match. It, it's his first in ring on Impact Television. Right, that's what I'm he saying. Did like the pay per view, but he hasn't done. Oh a match. yeah, that was. He hasn't done a match on TV, he so just that's keeps showing up. God. Yeah, they they just they they kept saying like Shire kept Shire kept saying, it's first time on Impact and Access TV. I'm like, no, it's his first match, not his first time. He's been right, on right. the damn show. Um, so I gotta say, Mark pointed one thing out to me. I do. I don't. I don't really watch AEW, but their belt is pretty sweet, though. I, I'm gonna put that over. Their title belt is pretty nice. It is a sweet looking belt. Now, I want to ask people in the chat who are AEW fans if this is something you guys watch. Is it a big it, how big of a deal is this? The Kenny being on impact. Like Jay, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to start with you cuz you watch AEW. How big of a deal is this? In uh, terms of in terms of like being a fan of both companies. It's it's a pretty big deal. It really is because uh, Kenny has really made a name for himself internationally as a worldwide uh, commodity to the professional wrestling world. And the fact that he's on the show, he's a world champ and he's uh, a lot of times he's still on the show with, with Callis at his side, you know, and this was one of those episodes where it was like, okay, big return to Thursday had a big match feel to it. You really didn't know it was going to happen. Uh, everybody brought it tonight. This was so much fun. Just the action. It, Trent even joined me in the last couple minutes of the watch along because he didn't. knew how big it was. It was a big deal. I, but I do want to know, like from the from our listeners, that you know, and I know Mark. It was definitely huge for Mark. <laughs> he was texting me in this one. <laughs> but you know, but what is this? The match coming up with Rich is a big deal. I know that because yes. it's a title versus title. That, that that's not normal for sure. But Kenny, the current AEW champion, showing up on Impact wrestling there, is it like? And, and Kenny's you know he's got a lot of fans. Probably the most over guy in AEW. Did a lot of AEW fans tune in on this one? Because a lot of them are they're wishy washy about tuning into Impact. You know, are, did they did this one make him go shit, man? I gotta watch this. Like fucking Kenny Omega's on. I gotta watch this shit. The Twitch crowd did not bring it. There was like 2K watching. See, that's the thing. That, that, that's weird. Now, okay, part of that I'm going to say is the day change. You're right. Yeah, I think I, I, absolutely. I, our show, our numbers are going to reflect that too. I just know a big part of it's the day change. It's just people oh, are. I, it totally did. We had like half the people we normally did on the Twitch watch. Yeah, exactly. Our number, it was. it's just going to be odd because most people forgot. They just, it, it's also Mania Week. People are get, already getting burned oh. out on wrestling. What's up? Uh, I'm sorry. It just made me realize we didn't get the Tony um, Khan ads. We did not. Pointed yeah. out because we're on Thursday now. We're not going to get those. Ads. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, have no fear, Alicia. <laughs> he's he's right here in case you want him to remind you where he's at. Perfect time to give an assessment on the pro wrestling industry and where we all stand. Impact Wrestling, the number one. Impact Wrestling, the number one. <laughs> no worry. <laughs> number one on Access TV and number one in your hearts. Here's what I say now. Does does Scott DeMore buy buy time on Dynamite and be like, well, now that we have the lead in, I'm gonna tell you what's on impact tomorrow. You know, like it but the number wise, I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sh- like worry about that too much just because okay. it's Again, it's Mania Week. People are all doing shit. Oh yeah, they're burned out from last night a little bit. Um, it's also, I, I think, the big majority of people forgot that it's today. Honestly, they forgot that it's today. And I think our throwback had more than usual because of that reason too. It was like people thought, oh, like, oh, wait a minute. And I'm at the top of that throwback show on Tuesday. I was like, don't. We're starting at this time. We started the normal time, Alicia. Like with the the normal time this one starts on Tuesday. And I was like, I know there's gonna be pe- there's people here thinking where's the post show, right. but there's no post show, so that's what usually what happens. Yeah, uh, yeah. Next week's gonna be your, um, I think next week's the bigger one to watch. Like that's the one where it's more established on the new day. You know, watch right, right, which just makes sense. Yeah, it's a really busy weekend, y'all. If you didn't it's a know. busy one. It is a it's busy not weekend. Not just for the other companies, but for independent wrestling. So yeah. It- there's a lot going on. A lot of the talents work in indie shows. They're not as engaging online today. So 
Tons of shit going on. Oh, they were also watching uh, Karrion Cross tonight win the NXT title. Oh, they're... Oh. Was that on that was tonight? Tonight? Why was it on? Why this was it on tonight? Oh. night number two for NXT taking because oh. WrestleMania is two nights, right? Yeah, oh, that's a lot. So that was so they're doing they did a two night NXT thing. So that we were we were up against NXT tonight. Is that what happened, Jay? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. So that makes sense. You know, it's their big yeah, show. Did. It's like a pay per view for them. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say fair, um, and I guarantee I guarantee the DVR numbers on this are gonna, are gonna be where it's at, guarantee. Because people are gonna watch that NXT, then they're like, "Oh, we'll watch Omega's match, you know, tomorrow, or whatever." Guarantee that, like, the recorded numbers are gonna be what what kicks this one up. Uh, uh, but uh, this is no, again solid. You had you had three of Impact's best. Uh, also, I mean, I should say more because you had the Good Brothers in there too. But I mean, everybody in this ring was like phenomenal. I can I'm never gonna take it away. Like I, I guess I don't really actively watch AEW, but I cannot deny that Kenny Omega is really good at what he does. So. Um, but Kenny I lo- didn't take the pin tonight. That's my beef on this. My, what I said, Alicia. Here's here was my thought. I was like, because they kept emphasizing, oh, you you know, you can't kick out of the one wing angel, Rich Swan. You can't kick out of it. I think he should have kicked out of it tonight, and then you would have had a situation where like they've both kicked out of each other's finishers, uh-huh. and now it's like, oh shit, what's gonna happen in the title match now? Right, right, like. <laughs> It didn't have to be where like Rich pinned Kenny. It could have been like Rich one kicked out of an attempt. Kenny got him, tried to pin him. Rich kicks out, and then something else like Eddie Edwards could pin whoever, or whatever. You're gonna finish it off. But I just think like that would have been like the heater to be like, oh shit. Now they've because like in a tag match, it's like you're still protecting Kenny because it's like it's a tag match. Yeah. yeah, he was weakened already. He didn't, you know, he didn't get to hit it as hard as he normally does. You rich kicked out of it, whatever it was, you know. But I think they, I think that took away from it a little bit because it's like Rich pinned Carl Anderson. I'm like, okay, well, what did that mean? You know, it didn't mean anything. It, it, it well, it's got to go back and forth. It can't be all Omega and the Good Brothers all over our guys. You know, our guys got to get a little back and forth. Right. Plus, they didn't do the one winged angel. It's still there. Like we're talking about it. It's he still got there. out of the one winged angel. He just didn't. Care. He got out of it. I guess that's your yeah. that's the payoff, like, right? Yeah, he yeah. didn't go through with the whole move, but he, Swan definitely like got like escaped it. Yeah, like it's it's still an issue. It's still there, but it, right, you know. right. Yeah, mm. I'm I'm sure there. I feel like the build with this is going fine, and they're they're really telling the story they're trying to tell. Yeah, uh, Daniel Spencer is saying that the, the re airing is on right now, right? And, uh, impact. So I I bet you like. You look at cumulative numbers; it's gonna kick right back into where it's supposed to be. Just you're up against some shit like that on on their week. Like I'm not gonna deny this; like this is their week. Even even with COVID times and all that stuff, it's still people call every independent that runs down there still calls it Mania Week. It like it's their week. <laughs> like yeah. you can't. I'm not gonna take away from the fact that no matter how low their numbers are, they still they're still this is still the week that they get. So right. People yeah, are gonna I mean, watch that. We we ju- we we all say uh, we own the night, you know, but they own the week. Let's. let's this is their week, yeah. yeah. Tough week. It is what it is. You yeah. Know? It's, it's it's not. But but it's solid. Not put, it's not putting them over. It's just facts. You know? Yeah, it's just facts. But solid stuff. I mean, it, so Rich pinned um, Anderson on this, and I think they went off the air with that. Pretty much, that was the end of it. They just kind of. Um, I'm trying to see where we where we left it here, and yeah, it was pretty much that was it. We went off the air after the match, and that was mm-hmm. so. Faces up, Rich gets gets a win. He's kind of facing off with Kenny. I okay. I'm gonna say this though: him getting out of the one winged angel was okay. If he's not gonna kick out of it, that's that's the best. That's close enough. I'll take that. Right. As now you create the doubt, right? So. See where it goes. I mean, the chat. You guys have any thoughts on this one? Sound off on it in the Mark chat. Has a good point about it. What's he saying? Um, you know, Mark's Mark's doing a lot of chatting in here. He could have been in the video. Could have been Part in of, the video. Could have, could have, could have I been get in. It, though. You've been you've been chatting the whole time, Marcus. But you could have been in here too. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna display since Mark is a host of the show. I'm gonna display Mark's comment here. I think tonight established that Swan isn't overmatched, and he's a smart wrestler because he's hard to. 
he's had to be due to his size. This was a great build, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So that's that's uh, that's Mark's opinion on this. So if you guys agree with Mark, what do you guys think about? It? But does this get you more hype for Rebellion? That's what I want to know for everybody too. Yes. If you, yes, definitely. Uh, and I want to know if anybody in the chat who hasn't ordered Rebellion or wasn't like planning on, like, yeah, whatever. Did this sell you to order Rebellion? Are you now sold on like, you know what? I maybe wasn't, but now I'm totally going to get it because now I want to really see the, how this goes down. Did this sell you further? Because that's the, that's the whole point of it. Jay, did they did they do anything to hype this match last night on Dynamite or anything? Um, No, but some stuff happened that made you feel like big picture wise. Uh, Kenny Omega is going to be a bigger threat towards uh, Rich Swan, and it was it, it was like an indirect sort of thing because the Young Bucks turned heel. They turned on Mox, which means Kenny Omega could, big picture wise, show up with more than just the Good Brothers sooner rather than later. We could get a return of formerly known as Generation Me on Impact Wrestling Television. Would they be announced as Generation Me if they come out? <laughs> there's awesome. gotta be there's gotta be at least a a, a, a reference to it. Like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey look, Generation B's back. <laughs> you know, and then the fight <laughs> breaks out, you know. But um <laughs> but uh, Biz quiz, baby. Biz Eric quiz. caught my fa my facial expression when you said uh when you said that, the, well, I asked you, was there any mention last year? You're like, no, but it was this. And I, I kind of, I, I gave this face like big surprise. <laughs> <But> they, didn't, <laughs> they didn't mention no, Eric we're, did we're, catch we're, that in the chat. We're used to that, but I've got a feeling as it gets closer to Rebellion, you're going to see a lot more at least reference to something. Yeah. I Listen, I think it's still, to be honest, I feel like they'll go, they can go this can go either way. We everybody's already thinking like, eh, Kenny's gonna win, but it's like, man, oh, I'm, I'm not assuming nothing because, like I said, you know, as soon as Callis put all that money, okay, even though it's a you know comedic moment, as soon as Callis and Omega put all that money down on the match towards Omega winning, that right there throws the odds against Kenny Omega immensely, in my opinion. You know, like that's gonna backfire. Yeah, exactly. It's also like Swinger's what? Palace, though. So <laughs> somebody's cheating. Y'all playing at Swinger's Palace, man. House fucking wins. John, Johnny Bravo's got, you know, cards up his sleeves. So I, <laughs> I want to.